This video covers the basic features of Power Factory's Compare and Merge tool. The tool has many applications, but is especially relevant when working with base and derived projects described in the previous video. Let's assume that a number of users work together using a shared database. This so-called Power Factory Team Edition allows for easy sharing of project information and the possibility to have a base or master project, which is the definitive model of the network. Let's first consider a user whose job it is to maintain this base project. There will be a continuous process of data updates and modeling of network developments using network variations. As part of the business process, the model developer will regularly make project versions which are made available to the users. The last version to be released in this project was version 5. The model developer does not necessarily make all the data changes directly in the base project herself. User 1 has made a derived project from version 5 of the base and has done some updates on the line type data. He's now ready to share his derived project with the model developer for her to merge his updates into the base project. While user 1 has been preparing the updates, the model developer has been making other changes to the base project. These changes are not reflected in user 1's derived project because they were done since version 5 was released. So, in order to ensure that nothing is lost when the model developer merges user 1's changes into the base, a so-called three-way merge process is used. The model developer navigates to user 1's project and selects the option Merge to Base Project. This automatically configures the dialog for the three-way merge. In this process, version 5 of the base is used as a starting point, then the merge takes into account the separate changes made in the derived project and in the base project. The resultant state will be captured in the base project. There are further options for handling cases where the same object has been changed in both projects. When the command is run, a browser is presented where the differences between the projects can be seen. Here we can see that user 1 has changed the existing line type and added two more line type objects. When the user clicks on Merge, the base project is updated with the additional changes. Let's assume that the week's work on the base project is complete. The model developer can now make a new version, version 6, and release this to the users. Let's next consider what happens when users activate their derived projects, which are now based on an outdated version. User 2 wants to work on her project, which was derived from version 5. She's made various changes to her project since deriving it, and would certainly not want to lose that work by starting again with version 6. How is this managed? User 2 activates her project. As the project is activated, a dialog comes up offering merge options. The default settings mean that the user's project will be upgraded, so to speak, to version 6 
and she'll get all the new information from the base project. However, she'll also retain all the changes that she's made in her derived project. But suppose that an object was changed in base project and user 2 had also made some different changes to the same object in her derived project. This option tells the merge tool that user 2's changes should take precedence. The merge is complete and now user 2's derived project is linked to the new version. Of course, the merge process is complex, and in practice it's often the case that there are conflicts which cannot be resolved automatically. In this case, the conflicts will be seen in the browser window, and the user can manually assign the data in whatever way is required. This has been just a brief introduction to the Compare and Merge tool. Much more detail about it can be found in the user manual.